This PV diagram shows the various states and the state changing path of an ideal gas. When the gas is taken from state A to state C along this curvy path, the work done on the gas is negative 100 joules. The heat added to the gas is 210 joules. If the gas is taken along this path A, B, C, the work done on the gas would be negative 70 joules. What is the change in internal energy of the gas for the path A, B, C, and what is the heat added to the gas for that path? For the curvy path A to C, we know W, we know Q, that means that we can find the delta U, which is Q plus W, so that will be 210 plus negative 100, and this gives us 110 joules. And this is useful because that's the delta U from A to C. And then for this path ABC, it also starts on A and on C. It's just along a different path. But since U is a function of state, delta U does not depend on the path it takes. So for these two different paths, the delta U would be the same, 110 joules. Now we have enough information to find the Q, because Q is delta U minus W. So it's 110 minus negative 70. So the heat added to the gas would be 180 joules. As you can see, both of these paths go from A to C, so they have the same delta U because delta U does not depend on the path it takes. But W and the Q, they do depend on the path it takes. So two different paths, two different Ws, and two different Qs. If the gas is taken from C to A following this path, CDA, what is the work done on the gas, and what is the internal energy change of the gas and the heat added to the gas? The work done on the gas for CDA is the area under this graph. And because the volume decreases, the work is the positive area. So it's the positive area underneath here, this entire rectangle. What do you think that area is? The information we have about area is A to C. This area down here is 100, right there. A, B, C. A, B, C. This rectangle right here, it has an area of 70. Now, what do you think this area is going to be? The 100 joules, the curvy part, this is not very useful for finding the area of this big rectangle. But the 70 is useful because 70 is the area for this rectangle. And now we want a rectangle that's this tall. It is the same base, but three times as tall. Because this area is 70, a rectangle with the same base three times as tall must have an area that is 70 times 3. So the work done on the gas for CDA would be the positive 3 times 70, which is 210 joules. And we need the delta U. This time, we're starting on C and on A. If we start on A and on C, the delta U is 110. And delta U is final minus initial. Now we switch the final and the initial. So now it's final is A, initial is C. So the delta U will be the same amount, 110. But since the final and the initial states are switched, the delta U would be negative 110 joules. So Q, which is delta U minus W, would be 
negative one hundred and ten minus the work two hundred and ten. So the Q is negative three hundred and twenty joules. This means three hundred and twenty joules of heat is removed from the gas. Now let's look at the cyclic process A B C D A. A B C D A. What is the work done on the gas? What is the change in internal energy? What is the heat added to the gas for this cyclic process A B C D A? The work done on the gas is the area inside this uh, cyclic process. So it's this rectangle right here, and because the cycle goes counterclockwise, the work done on the gas is uh, positive. And because we know this little rectangle has an area of seventy, so this rectangle with the same base as this rectangle, but the Twice as high as this one would have an area that's twice the seventy. So the work done on the gas is a hundred and forty joules. What about delta U? What is the delta U of the cyclic process? It start on A, end on A. So the delta U is U A minus U A, which is zero. And then, of course, we can find the Q because it is delta U minus W. When delta U is zero, Q is negative W, negative one hundred and forty joules. What about the cyclic process A C D A? A C D A. What is the work done on the gas? The change in internal energy of the gas. What is the heat added to the gas? The work done on the gas for the cyclic process is the area inside the, the cyclic process, which involves this curvy part. So we'll need the information about the area that involves the curvy part, which is A to C, and this area is one、uh, hundred. The area underneath here is one hundred. When we know that the area for this part is two hundred and ten, three times seventy. So if this part down here is one hundred and this entire rectangle is two hundred and ten, that means the area here must be two hundred and ten minus one hundred. So the work done on the gas is the area inside the cyclic process, and because the Cycle goes counterclockwise. It is a positive area, and that positive area is three times seventy, two hundred and ten minus the area underneath here, which is one hundred. So this gives us the work done on the gas is a hundred and ten joules. Delta U. For cyclic process, again, since we start on A, end on A, it must be zero. And the Q is delta U minus W, and delta U is zero, so this is the negative work. That's negative a hundred and ten joules. If U B minus U A is fifty joules, what is the heat added to the gas with, for the path B to C? B to C. For heat added to the gas, we can do delta U minus W again, and this has to be the delta U from B to C and the W for B to C. Let's see. B to C is has a constant volume. The volume doesn't change following the path B to C. That means the work done on the gas must be zero because the area under this graph is zero. But we still need to find the change in internal energy from B to C. We have this piece of information. It's U B minus U A. This is final minus initial. 
which means this is delta u. The final state is b. The initial state is a. So we have information about the delta u from a to b. We also have information for delta u from a to c. So if I do a to b to c, I know that uh, from a to b, the delta u is 50 joules. From a to c, the delta u is uh, 110. So what do you think is the delta u from b to c? It must be 110 minus 50, which is 60 joules. So that's the delta U from B to C, which means that is the Q from B to C.